So, here is an example of a scale in the, an elevator question. We have Joey here, and uh, Joey has a mass of 60 kilograms. So, if Joey were uh, sitting on Earth and not moving and were standing on the scale, the scale would read his weight, and we know that weight equals mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So his weight, and this is a physics scale, so it's not pounds, it will show newtons. Um, so Joey's weight would be 60 times 9.8 or 588 newtons. Okay, you may have had the experience of sort of accelerating upward in an elevator and you feel heavier, or um, accelerating downwards and feeling lighter. So, I'll write that. Accelerating downwards, you're going to feel lighter. And accelerating upwards, you're going to feel heavier. So what this means is that we call this a parent weight, and this is going to be the reading on the scale. If Joey is accelerating upwards, the reading on the scale will be more than 588 newtons, and if he's accelerating downward, the reading on the scale will be less than uh, 588 newtons. So what we're interested in is, what is the reading on the scale? So, as an example, let's say that the acceleration of the elevator is downward at 2 meters per second squared. So let's say we have Joey and the scale, of course. So he's having fun in this elevator, playing around, and the acceleration is downward 2 meters per second squared. So in the equation uh, F equals ma, Newton's second law, this force is always the net force on whatever object is accelerating. So, if we were to draw a free body diagram for Joey, here's Joey, sorry Joey, you're just a little square right now, um, there would be a force in the downward direction and there would be a force in the upward direction. Notice how I drew the arrow in the downward direction longer, and I knew that the force in the downward direction would be greater than the force in the upward direction because the acceleration is in the downward direction. So there's going to be some net force in the downward direction causing this acceleration in the downward direction. Okay. We know the force in the downward direction is weight, meaning the pull of gravity due to Earth, and that's always the case. The force in the upward direction, or the normal force of the scale on Joey, is the reading on the scale. So I'm going to abbreviate that ROS, reading on scale. So if we look at this diagram, the net force, meaning the result of all the forces acting on our object, Joey, is this minus this and in the downward direction. So in the downward direction, our net force would be this, and we know that that is equal to Joey's mass times his acceleration. So 60 and his acceleration in the downward direction was 2. Okay, so if we solve for reading on the scale, um, we would end up with 588 minus 120 which looks like a, a 468 newtons. Notice how reading on the scale is less than the force in the downward direction, or weight. Therefore, Joey is accelerating downward. Hope you enjoyed viewing. This was an example of scale in the elevator question.